Hello everyone and welcome back to Greater Bait, the most exquisite ASMR series on YouTube. Mm. Um, okay, so I said I want to clarify something real quick. So I said that I was going to have a pretty big project for Friday. Uh, it is Sunday, so not only did I miss out, but I didn't really explain what that was. Um, and I still won't explain. You'll have to see for yourselves tomorrow uh, evening when I post it on the channel. But yeah, it'll be pretty cool, pretty interesting. Either way, let's hop into today's cars, which are the 300 SLR Mercedes and the Donut Media Van. Uh, first one being this, and um, man. So here's the here's the thing. This is the. I'm gonna start by saying that this episode was. The, my favorite one to record out of all of them, simply because these two cars are, for some godforsaken reason, absolutely beyond crack the drifting, especially this one. So right now you're watching a somewhat mediocre run on um, our trusted 60 FPS, and I just got a 145.1, just like that, out of the blue. Uh, didn't really even take me that long. I think it was like 30, less than 30 minutes in and What you're watching right now is my Second or third highest run on precipice on 60 FPS a 145.4 an absolutely ridiculous score with an absolutely ridiculous car. It is so so good. I don't understand. I just genuinely don't it has uh, <laughs> You know what just man Look, this car single-handedly made me rethink the Avaya grade that I gave. I gave it a 10 out of 10. I'm probably gonna have to bump that down to a 9.5 just because of this car. So yeah, it is insane. Truly insane. Um, in terms of speed, it is fast. Which is not, you know, insanely fast. So it gets a respectable 7.5 out of 10 or 460 kilometers an hour. It gets a similar grade in terms of acceleration. It actually has a very, very good drag coefficient. Um, the launch is decent, but um, where this car shines is its um, top end. This car actually held the world record in S1 for on the aerodromo, and yeah, no wonder, man. Eight out of ten, twelve point three, very good, very solid. Um, here's. Um, Here's where it sucks though. I, I praise this car a bit, a bit too much um, and it, this is where I, I kind of have to stop doing that. It has no grip. Like, I wouldn't say whatsoever, like there, there, there's some in there because the car is fairly light. But um, nah, it, 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 it does not wanna... It, look, it's not completely unusable, uh, especially considering this car has the Goliath fold record in A-Class. And uh, that's that's something. That's certainly something. It's not grip related much because it's the complete opposite of uh, what we're doing here on Chihuahua. But uh, hey, it's something, right? So as a result, I'm going to bump the grade up by about half a point because I think that's only fair. But for what I mean, for the purposes of this test and the video, this car kind of sucks. And I mean, you can probably tell. It's got very good acceleration, obviously, as you could tell earlier, but um, no grip. Very skinny tires. It's an old car. It's shaped like a fucking jet boosted crayon. Um, yeah, makes sense at the end of the day. Just makes sense. Uh, I still had fun because it feels like you're, you're navigating a boat through jello. That's kind of how I can. It's, that's how it would describe driving this car, and I didn't even drive it for long. I mean, if you look at the lap, there, it's the C8 lap, so you can't even tell. Uh, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's it was fun, I guess. The car is not completely terrible, but it's genuinely not good. So it's about about average. Like I said, it's bumped up a little bit, but it still didn't help much, as you can tell. Uh, now I I know I started the lap a little bit late here. That was uh, an error on my part with the. The, the clip, so yeah, you're gonna have to excuse me on that. It's gonna happen on the next car as well. Um, but yeah, um, regardless, so you can tell it that the lap is clean. Uh, not only that, but lap is pretty decently fast. So it did a sub one minute, which is pretty good. Uh, I think in general, if a car is able to do sub one minute, uh, regardless of class, because that's not what we talk about here, uh, it is pretty damn good. And this car did. It's a glass cannon. It has 
very little grip but very solid acceleration and it's light which means it'll oversteer and you, you do want that for, for, for dirt. Um, it, it does not feel like a boat. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't really feel like a boat. I know I made a comparison and it feels like a boat on Jello, but that's, that's just to exaggerate things a bit. It's pretty good. It's, it's rapid. I wouldn't recommend it much though. It's a bit of a death trap, but yeah. Um, overall, uh, this car scored a very, very respectable 37.5 out of 50, aka 7.5 out of 10. Uh, as you can tell, I've also like changed the format a little bit because the the entire uh, screen was getting a little too crowded, so I sorted them by points instead. And this is the cars that it's ranked around. So a little bit above the F1 GT and the FDZ that we tested last week, and just below the XJ. It makes sense, right? Like these are all uh, cars you would see on in S1 and A class on leaderboards. It it makes sense. And I'm glad that the series kind of shows that it's consistent in this regard. But here's a car that doesn't really show on leaderboards, and man, this was such a surprise. So the story of this goes, uh, Proto actually suggested this ages ago, and I put it in the back uh, burner of my head. I was like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. Um, he, I already took one of his suggestions, and and I was like, uh, you, I've done one of your cars. You're gonna have to wait a little bit to you know have others that to get their turn in. Um, and I put this car in the back of my head for a while and I was like, you know what, Let, let's finally do it. And man, what a surprise this fucking car was. Like, I just got a 144.7 here with no tail snap whatsoever because I'm ass. And this is a 145. This is a, a 145 precipice, aka something that very few cars are on paper able to do. And it's a fucking van. Like, look at the POV of this thing. It is ridiculous. Now, granted, I think this is one of my best runs ever in terms of, I guess, consistency and lines and all that. Um, and it makes sense. I've already got a lot of practice on this. But god damn, man. I was genuinely... This, this was the biggest surprise in the series for me so far. It is ridiculous. Definitely deserves the 9 out of 10. It is so good. And it feels so good. Um, not fast. I'm, I'm afraid. However, for a car that has a literal donut on top of it, I think it's <laughs> I think it's not only understandable, but I'd say it's decent. So I got a 433 there, which uh, yeah, nothing great, but you know we'll give it a pass. Um, now this car, funny funny enough, has 385 rear tires. And that means it's going to have an incredibly quick launch. And yeah, as you can tell, it got to uh, 170 like in an instant, but then the top end is dead. So yeah, regardless, it was still very quick. It still took an 8 out of 10 like a champ. Um, and obviously this is one of those purebred race um, vehicles, whatever you want to call them, race spec vehicles. Um, and the fact that they made a van be so fast around the track, obviously this is not realistic, we're talking about Forza here, you, you wouldn't see something like this in real life taking corners with 220 kilometers an hour or banging a fucking donut on the top of the car like that, you wouldn't see that, of course, but that's not what this is about, this is not about realism, this is about Forza having fun and all that, and this car excels at it, it's, it's so good, um, it outpaced a couple of cars that should honestly be ashamed that they're slower than this on, on, on such a track. I mean, imagine being a whole four seconds quicker than a McLaren F1, which I know it's not supposed to be fast for, for you know, going around the track, but holy shit. Still, I think it more than deserves the 8.5 out of 10. It is so, so quick. And, okay, once again, I, uh... Oh, wait, no, I actually did clip the entire thing this time. Never mind, I'm stupid, but anyway. Here's the uh, dirt slab here, and well, well, what can I say? It's it's quick. <laughs> it I think it was a little bit slower than the uh, Mercedes, and I think it's just because it's shaped like a box, I suppose. Um, so the maneuverability isn't nearly that great. Um, it also had a bit more power, and so. Yeah, um, my lap wasn't really that good either. I don't know. There's just not. There's just something about it. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I know why it sucked. It has no off-road tires. It's um, 
it's a um, extreme track toy as far as I remember so not gonna have that much grip but if this thing had off-road tires it would be fucking insane it would be into the 57s 56 that that's like one second of what I can do in the uh, in the best cars in the game so yeah I, I, I definitely yeah, yeah I slow down a time here as well so you can tell they got a one minute zero two so I think the seven and a half is deserved yeah and here is the best part of the video in my opinion it scored the exact same as the 300 SLR which again I don't know if that happened before like the exact same score at the end but here it is compared to the other cars 37.5 out of 50 absolutely amazing car um, I am not necessarily disappointed that I didn't pick it earlier I'm just really glad that I eventually did um, this was the most fun I had recording the video uh, tomorrow like I said a big one should be up on on the channel I hope I managed to edit it by then but uh, yeah thank you guys for watching once again sorry for the ASMR and I'll see you tomorrow